Okay, now we'll see addition of list. Now this technique in the Vedas is known as Rekankana. Reka means line. Using line, we are adding up. Okay, let's posit a list something like this. A big list like this. Usually what we do, we don't know any technique to add this list. So we do generally, you know, in a linear way. We add 5 plus 9, 14, 14 plus 8, 22, you know, and that way we add up all the list. Probably takes uh, a minute or so. And uh, despite that, we are not sure that the answer is right or wrong. Okay, but using Vedic mathematics, I can add up this list in just about 10 seconds, believe it or not. In just 10 seconds, I can add up all this. And I'm wondering how is it possible? I'll first uh, like to demonstrate uh, one problem before you. And later I'll show you how I was able to add up so fast, okay? If you have your watches, you can check your watches. I'll accomplish this in just about 10 seconds, okay? If you have watches, please check it. Check your watches and my time starts now. That's the answer. The answer is 107. You can, you can check your calculator. That's it. Okay. The answer is 107. And maybe you are amazed like how is it possible to add up so fast. Now, this technique in the Vedic mathematics is known as the Rekankana Paddhati. Reka means line. Okay. Now, the same technique if you want to translate in, uh, this in English, it becomes dropping tense. Now, what is dropping tenses? We will always get a total in between 10 to 18 only, not more than that. We will always get from 10 to 18. And you may be wondering why only 10 to 18, why not more than that? I told you at the very outset that the basic digits are 0 to 9. Okay. And the largest digit from 0 to 9 is 9. So, when you add 9 to 9, you get 18. So that's why you get only up to 18 only, not more than that. And whenever you get any number in between 10 to 18, we must drop 10 from it. Now, let's assume a number in between 10 to 18, something like 16. If you get 16, drop 10 from it. Now, how do you do that? If you get 16, just put a dash, that's called Rekha. Rekha Ankara means like adding with a line, okay? So, put a dash first and hold 6 in your mind. The dash denotes 10, that's called dropping 10. If you get a number something like 14, put a dash first, hold 4 in your mind. The dash denotes 10. If you get 12, put a dash and 2 in the mind. If you get 16, put a dash 6. If you get 11, dash and 1. If you get 15, dash and 5 and so forth. Okay. Now, let me show you how I did this addition so fast in just about 10 seconds. Now, many people, they add the list from top to bottom like this. But Vedic Mathematics says, don't add from top to bottom, rather add from bottom to top. And maybe you are amazed like, why we have to add from bottom to why not from top to bottom? There is a simple logic out here. Now, when you add from top to bottom, we get less speed. When you add from bottom to top, we get more speed. Why? Very simple logic, see? When you are adding this list on a piece of paper, you will put it on the table and put your hand like this. And on the board, you put your hand like this, see? So when you are adding like top to bottom, let's see, you put your hand 5 plus 9, 14, 14 plus 22. So when you're putting hand like this, see, your hand is blocking the remaining numbers, see? The remaining numbers are hiding under your hand. So what is happening? The eyesight will be limited to only one number at a time. So what is happening? The brain catches the numbers a bit slow. It can't calculate that fast. But when you add from bottom, see, I put my hand on 7. Is my hand blocking the numbers? No. See, all the numbers are clearly visible. So the eyes can catch the numbers fast and the brain performs faster. So for that reason, this is to add from bottom to top. Now, for the technique, okay? Start from bottom. 7 plus 8, you get 15. So what you have to do? Put a dash before 8 and hold 5 in your mind. That 5, add to next number, 5 plus 4, 9. Don't put dash for 9. Don't put dash for below 10. Only about and you have to put dash, okay? So 9 plus 8, you get 17. So put a dash here, hold 7 in the mind. 7 plus 9 is 16, so put a dash 6 in the mind. 6 plus 6 is 12, so put a dash, hold 2 in the mind. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 14, so put a dash, hold 4 in your mind. 4 plus 6 is 10, so when you get a 10, don't say dash and 0. Just put a dash and go with the rest of the number. So 8 plus 4 is 12, so dash and 2. 2 plus 7 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, so dash and 5. 5 plus 8 is 13, so dash and 3 in the mind. 3 plus 9 is 12. So, can you see that? I, I, I put a dash there 
and hold 2 in the mind. 2 plus 5 is 7. So when I add the last number 5, I got 7. So 7 is less than 10. So without putting any dash, write 7 there. Now count dashes. How many dashes you got there? Okay. Count 2, 2. Okay. So count 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. I got 10 dashes. So I just wrote 10 towards the left of 7, and that's my answer 107. Simple, isn't it? One more example. I'll list something like this. Okay. So start from bottom. 8 plus 6 is 14. So dash before 6, mind you. And 4 in the mind. 4 plus 9 is 13. So dash and 3 in the mind. 3 plus 8 is 11. Dash and 1 in the mind. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 7 is 13. So dash and 3 in the mind. 3 plus 9 is 12. So dash and 2 in the mind. 2 plus 6 is 8. Plus 7 is 15. So dash and 5 in the mind. 5 plus 8 is 13. So dash and 3 in the mind. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. So dash and 8 in the mind. 8 plus 4 is 12. So dash and 2 in the mind. 2 plus 8 is 10. So just put a dash and go with the rest of the number. 5 plus 9 is 14. So dash and 4 in the mind. 4 plus 7 is 11. So dash and 1 in the mind. 1 plus 9, uh, 1 plus 8 is 9. No, 9 is more than 10 or less than 10. So it's less than 10. So without putting any dash, write 9 there. Now assume that it is not uh, 8 there. A number something like 9 there. Okay. So here we got 9, no? 8 plus 1, 9. But as in this number like 9 there. So dash and 1 we got here. Up to this point we got dash and 1. Okay. So 1 in the mind. 1 plus 9 is 10. So assume in the last number when you add the last number you get something more than 10 10 or more than 10 now assume in the last number I got 15 so what should I do is 15 is more than 10 for that reason I must put a dash and write 5 there if I got 14 I should put a dash and write 4 there if I got 16 I put a dash and write 6 there and so forth but here I got 1 in the last number right 1 in the mind 1 plus 9 is 10 I got 10 in the last number so what 10 what you have to do first put a dash what is the last number in 10 it's 0. So write 0 there. Now count all the dashes. Count 2, 2, okay? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 13 dashes I got. So write 13 towards the left of 0, mind you, not towards the right of 0. So write 13 towards the left of 0, and that will be our answer. Okay, now we'll be dealing with how to deal with double digits. Now previously I've shown you how to add on single digits. Now what to do when you, when you get double digits? But before I teach you how to deal with double digit addition, I'm going to first teach you a rule called the balancing rule. This is a very, very important rule and we'll be applying this rule in our future techniques also. I first would like you to uh, like know this concept. Okay. So what is balancing rule is? You get numbers something like 34 and 23. Now mind you, these are two separate numbers, 34 separate and 23 separate. And to mention that, we have used this column in between. There's a slash you can see. There's a line which is separating both the numbers vertical line so it's 34 and 23 separately now how we need to balance this start from the right drop the unit space number and carry the 10 space number see there's a unit space number there's a 10 space number again in 34 4 is units 3 is 10 okay so start from the right drop the unit space number and carry the 10 space number to next number now add 34 plus 2 you get 36 so when you balance these two numbers you got 363 now, uh, what, is, what exactly is balancing, why we are doing all this, I am going to show you in the application part. Uh, let me again uh, teach you one more uh, problem in uh, uh, balancing rule. We get two separate numbers, 78 and 65, then what to do? So start from the right, drop the units place and carry the tens place. Now 78 plus 6 is 84 and you get 845, clear? Okay, now I will show you the application of this balancing rule. Okay. Now, here we have taken a hypothetical example where we have a list of double digit numbers. Okay? Now, usually in our school, what they said is, they said we need to start from the US place first, then only we can go for the tens place. But in our Vedic mathematics, you can start from any place of your choice. Okay? So, you want to start from left first? Okay, we will do that also. Okay? Start from the same Rekankana Padati or the dash method, what I taught you for single digit addition. Okay, we'll start with the left number first. Okay, start from bottom 6 plus 7, 13, so dash and 3, 3 plus 8 is 11, so dash and 1, 1 plus 9 is 10, so just put a dash, 6 plus 8 is 14, so dash and 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 6 is 13, so dash and 3, 
3 plus 4 is 7. So we got 7 as the end number, okay? Now count the dashes, we got 2, 4, 5. So 57 will be the answer, okay? So write 57, there's no space here, I'm writing here. Write 57 and put a column there. Now add the unit place number, okay? Same. 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, so dash and 2. 2 plus 4, 6, plus 7 is 13, so dash and 3. 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 9 is 17, so dash and 7. 7 plus 7 is 14, so dash and 4. 4 plus 8 is 12, so dash and 2 out there. I call the dashes for 2, 4, 5. You got 52, right? So write 52 out here. Now for the balancing. So drop the 2 and carry the 5 out here. 57 plus 6 is 62. And that's the final answer. When you add up this complete list, you get 622. Simple, isn't it? The same technique what I taught you just now can be even extended to even three digits or four digits or up to n number of digits, okay? So, if you're dealing with three digits, you have to be a bit cautious. You can start from any place of your choice. Yeah, I know that many of you want to start from the middle first, okay? Yeah, but when you're, when you're actually starting from middle, be careful. If you put a dash something like this, later you actually get a dot whether this dash is for this row or the other row. So, for that reason, when you're dealing with a middle number, I suggest you can like round the numbers or you can put a thick dot above the numbers or you can cancel the numbers, choice is yours. Which are the, which are the one you feel like uh, easy, you can adopt that, okay? Okay, I'll uh, resort to cutting the numbers, okay? I'll start from the middle row, okay? So start, 6 plus 7, 13, so I'll cut off 7 and 3 in the mind. 3 plus 6, 9 plus 9 is 18, so dash, I mean cut off the number and 8 in the mind. 8 plus 6 is 4, so dash and 4. 4 plus 8 is 12, so dash and 2. 2 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 4 is 13, so dash and 3. So end number is 3. Check out how many numbers are cut off there. So you got 2, 4 and 5. So answer would be 53. So I'll just write 53 here. Now write 53, put it in the middle because you are you're at the middle row, okay? So put it in the middle. Now you can choose to uh, add any place of your choice. Okay, you want to start with 100 space? Go ahead, okay? Start. 8 plus 5 is 13, so dash and 3. 3 plus 9 is 12, so dash and 2. 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 7 is 12, dash and 2. 2 plus 9 is 11, so dash and 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 8 is 12, so dash and 2 out there. Count how many dashes there? 2, 4 and 5. So you got 52. Write 52 in the hundreds place, mind you, okay? Now finally, let's go for the units place. Same thing, okay? Start from the bottom. 5 plus 9, 14, so dash and 4. 4 plus 8, 12, so dash and 2. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 5 is 11, so dash and 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11. So dash and 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. So 6 is less than 10. So without putting a dash, write 6 there. Now count dashes. You got 2 and 4. So you got 46 there. Now for the balancing. The same rule. Okay. Start from the right. Drop the units place. So drop the 6. And carry the 4 to next number. 53 plus 4 is 57. So drop 7. 52 plus 5 is 57. And when you add up this complete list, you get 5776. As simple as that. So with this, we end the topic of additions. So I've shown you using the Vedic mathematics techniques how rapidly we can add the numbers. Okay, starting from two rows to multiple rows. Okay, now we'll go for the next topic.